I told you, I told you we need to agree and cut down on some of the projects that we are doing in this country. You're also going to cut down on uh, salaries of people who are earning more, starting from, starting from the top offices to the smaller offices. You put it a maximum of maybe 500,000 shillings, maximum for anybody in this country. Because it doesn't beat logic that one guy is earning a million shillings, another guy is earning zero. Uh, something else also is in a budget. We have uh, the department of uh, we have the, we have we have we have the department of uh, youth and sports, which doesn't even do much with what they have. What is their budget? It's going to be budgeted for because I walked out and uh, looked at it. We have almost three hundred and ninety ninety some uh, sub counties in this country. So bringing, cutting down and agreeing how many use do you have in many sub county and maybe start even a pilot project, it can really work. Accountability is nothing with a serious country. When people are serious in a country, accountability can be done. Tell me how do they account for the elderly who are being paid every now and then? Why are they not complaining? There's accountability there. For the youth, it's a time bomb. It's a time bomb grace. If we don't work on this thing now, it's going, it is going to be bad because you look at even... The, the people being used, the youth being used even now by right. any, any, any criminal agents or even politicians to take them to the streets. They go there because they have nothing. I had, uh, I don't know if it is Brian or it is a carrier who is saying, who is, uh, who is saying that maybe it might not be sustainable. You know when you give somebody a target and say, okay, you are 25 years, you are earning this to 45. If you don't pull up your socks before you get a job, you, you not, you'll get nothing after 45. Because I tied up also with the retirement age. If you are employed, I was proposing, if you are employed at 20, you retire at 50. If you are employed at 30, you retire at 55. Right. And if you are employed at 45, you are given only 10 years to work in, in uh, formal empo employment. And it will really streamline this country, if only we are very serious. Right. I went to a country, I went to... I went to uh, Mr. Julius, I'm going to have to interject in and, and cut you short. Because we, yes. we do not have much time and I need to get more from my guests here in studio with me. So apologies for that. But Mr. Noel, that is his solution, yeah, his proposal. Let's talk more on other solutions to this because we are here.